Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use iMessage if you're new to using iMessage. That's basically Apple's way of sending text messages or instant text messages, and it works between all iPhones, iPads, iPod Touch, and even works on Mac computers. And the big difference is, unlike text messages, you could use your Wi-Fi or your cell data to send those messages, and it's pretty instant, and there's a lot of cool special effects that I'm gonna show you as well. Now, if you use iMessages to send someone a message on an Android phone, they still get it, but it gets sent and received as a regular text message. Let's go to the Settings app of our phone first. And if you haven't set up iMessage on your phone, you could do so. And I have a more complete video about it showing you some troubleshooting. But all you want to do is come down over here to the messages icon on your iPhone or iPad and click that. And right there on top, just make sure iMessages is turned on. So the slider is on green and go to send and receive and make sure your phone number here is selected so you could send and receive messages from that number this may require you to sign into your Apple ID. So make sure you do those. If you have any problems, watch the more complete video on how to set up iMessage. This is gonna be more about how to use it and be efficient with it. And if you wanna do this on your Mac, again, I have a different video on how to do this on Mac computers. Now, let's go to the iMessage app, which is just a messages app, the green option, click it. And the first thing we typically wanna do, if you haven't used it before, is we wanna send our first message. So the little blue icon on the top, if you click that, it opens up a message for you, and you could go ahead and type someone's name or number, if they're on your phone, or if they're not, just type in their number. I'll just go ahead and use myself here as an example. So you put the two option, and you could add multiple people if you wanna send a group chat. So if you wanna send the same message to more than one person, just type in multiple people here. And then I'm gonna press return. And you just basically type out your text right here, just using the keyboard. And then you press the little blue option. Now just go ahead and tap it one time and it sends it as an iMessage. Now you could see that it was delivered and usually by default when the other person reads that message, that delivered text changes to red. Now I personally turned that off, so I turn it off in the previous page that we were on in the settings menu, so you could do that there. Now that's how you send an iMessage, and you know it was sent as an iMessage because it shows up in that blue bubble. Text messages show up in a green bubble. Now you see those three dots? When someone is replying using iMessage, those three dots appear. Since I'm texting myself here, or sending an iMessage to myself here, you see those three dots. And when the person presses send on it, it will disappear. So if I press send right here, it will disappear. Now let's look at some of the more advanced options here. On any iMessage, you could hold down on it, just press and hold with one finger, and you could copy it, and you could react to it. So for example, if I wanted to give this a thumbs up, I could just press that reaction option here, and it creates that thumbs up right next to that text. Let me hold down again, and those are your reactions that you have right on top. You have copy, that will copy it, so then if I just hold down under iMessage and paste, it will paste that option. So that's how you would copy and paste an iMessage. You also have the more option. Let's click that and see what that gets us. More is a simple way to basically have this check mark next to the message, so you could delete it on the left side. So if I basically check multiple iMessages on or off, I could press delete. And I also have the forward option. So let me press that arrow. And this lets me forward the message to someone else. So this is a really useful way. Instead of copying and pasting the message, you could forward the message with the more option. Let me cancel this. And on top, you could delete all messages in this page and you could just cancel to get out of this page. So in this case, let me cancel. Let me click the iMessage box one more time. Now inside of this box, you could also send voice messages too. So if you press the little voice icon, you could tap and hold to record audio. So I'm gonna tap and hold to record audio and let go. And then that gets sent as a message if I press the up arrow right there. And that person just got a voice message as an iMessage. So that's how you would send that with that option. You could also share photos. That's the camera icon on the left side, click that. So here you could either take a picture or video and send it that way. So I just took a picture and it brings me to this page where I could go ahead and add effects to it and a whole bunch more options like editing the colors. All those are available on this page. So maybe I wanna 
go ahead and just make this a little bit brighter and more colorful. But when I'm done, I could just go ahead and press done. And that will show up as a message right here. But unless I press the blue option, it's not going to send. I'm ready to send this one. I could go ahead and press the blue one and it gets sent just like that. Now on yours, it's not going to show twice. I'm just messaging myself here. So it's showing up twice. But let's press camera one more time. The other options you have is you could send from your photo library. So the little icon on the top left, that will get access to your photo library where you could select a message like this and then send it that way instead of taking a picture. But it sends the same way. So this is how you would do that. And that will also have the delivered and read messages on the picture, same as when you send a regular text message. You also have this app icon. So if you turn this app icon on and off, you get access to all these other apps that work inside of iMessage. So for example, I could use Apple Pay here to send someone money. So I have a different video on how to do that. I could go ahead and create these memojis like this one here and send one of these, for example. So these are very useful. So a bunch of different options here that you could explore on your own. And again, you could look at the channel for multiple different videos about using some of these options. This one, for example, Memoji basically just uses the camera to see what you're doing with your head and you could record that just like this and then you could go ahead and send this as well. Now, let me show you one more advanced option here. This is a message. Instead of pressing blue to send the message, you could hold that down, that arrow, just hold down with one finger and you could send the message, the iMessage with effects. Let me show you this one. For example, if I slam this message, that's the effect it's going to get. Now it hasn't sent yet. I have to press blue one more time, but here you could preview how they look right here. So gentle, invisible ink's pretty interesting. Now let me press the blue up arrow and it's going to send it. The other person basically just has to slide their finger on it here to make the message appear. So that's the interesting one. And you also have, let me hold down the blue again. On top, I was under the bubble section, but there's a screen section. Click that. And now you could send messages with these effects, like the echo one, or on this page, you could just slide over and there's a whole bunch of different effects here you could choose from and send your message that way. I'm going to press X there. You could explore that on your own. When you want to know when someone sends you a text message, you could just slide the page left. You see that it's going to show all the different times here on the right side of the page. So that's one way to see when a message was sent. And finally, if you want to send emojis that we haven't talked about, there's the little smiley face option on the bottom of the page. Click that and you could go ahead and send different emojis just like this and go ahead and press blue to send. Those also have effects as well. So if you want to send them with effects, just press and hold on the blue. And you could go ahead and send them this way and then press the up arrow. And people could always press replay to see the animation if they want to. Now, if you want to continue to send messages, typically what you do is you go back to the home page and all the people that you've messaged in the past show up over here. So now you could jump into individual people's names here instead of pressing the blue option every time to start a message. So all your group messages, all your individual messages are going to be all here based on the time of day. And they're all going to be sorted by time here. So the newest one is going to show up on top. If you want to delete someone entirely, you could just on this page, on the messages page, slide this over and you could go ahead and delete that entire chat history. So I showed you how to do individual texts and iMessages and how to delete those. But here you could delete the entire message history with someone if you wanted to do that. It's that simple to do it here. And you also have a very useful search option. That's the top bar here where you could search individual words and they'll show up inside of a conversation. So let me look up the word text message and you could see it found the word text message inside of my iMessages that I was using in this video to send to myself. So that's how they show up. So you could use the search bar to search for people's name and words inside of those conversations. Very, very useful. And finally, there's the three dots on top of messages app right here. I'm going to press that. And here there's a couple of useful things you could do. You could press select messages that will let you basically press the arrow next to all these messages 
and then delete them all at once instead of sliding over each one and pressing delete. So if you wanted to delete a bunch of different conversations with people or group messages, you could do that here. And that's the basics of using iMessage on your iPhone or iPad. Again, if you want to learn how to do it with other devices like on your Mac, watch the videos that are listed in the description below this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.